When I think back on the triumphs and tragedies of Neil Carter, while there certainly are both highs and lows, which I will cover, I promise, there was without a doubt a lot more to celebrate, and that's where I'd like to start. In particular, I've got to say that Neil Carter was a ton of fun in the 80s sitcom Give Me a Break, which ran on NBC for six seasons. Nell played Nell Harper, a singer who becomes a housekeeper for the Kaniski family, who live in the fictional town of Glenlawn, California, and are comprised of Carl, who is the chief of police, and his daughters Kate, Julie, and Samantha. I think it was season three where Joey Lawrence was also added to the cast. And then during the show's final season, it moved to New York City and added more cast members, including Rosie O'Donnell and another Lawrence kid. I think it was Matt, if I remember correctly. But it was during those first few seasons that Gimme a Break really flourished and allowed Nell to truly shine as an actress. At that point in her career, I knew nothing about her past, about how difficult her journey had been to get where she was. More on that in just a minute, but I've got to first share that Give Me a Break wasn't the first place that I remember seeing Nell Carter. Here's where I remember seeing her first. She was part of the supporting cast of The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo, which was a spin-off from one of my all-time favorite TV shows, BJ and the Bear. Yep, there was a time when I was certain that I was going to be a long-haul trucker, and it was primarily due to this show. That never happened, which is probably a good thing, because if I had, I doubt I'd be making videos on YouTube like this one, which I really love doing. Anyway, enough about me, let's get back to Nell. Prior to Sheriff Lobo and Give Me a Break, Nell had hit it big on Broadway where she had been working steadily during most of the 70s. The play that really set her apart was Ain't Misbehavin', and she would win a Tony Award in 1978 for her work in it. And although most of my memories of Nell are from television, she was also in movies. I remember that she had a small role in the Chevy Chase comedy Modern Problems, which I haven't seen in years. Really need to go back and watch that one again. But here's my point. There wasn't anything that this woman couldn't do. She could act and sing, and she could be found on stage as well as on both television shows and in movies. I think Nell was so tenacious, so insurmountable because of all the challenges that she had faced when she was young. Born Nell Ruth Hardy on September 13, 1948 in Birmingham, Alabama, Nell sang in her church choir when she was young. She was so good that she was featured on a local radio show. But then tragedy struck early when her father was electrocuted when he stepped on a live power line. And you know what? Nell was there at the time and witnessed that horrific accident. Later on as a teen, Nell was sexually assaulted at gunpoint and became pregnant. Because she was just a young girl herself, Nell's daughter was raised by her family, specifically an older sister. And then, as Nell found fame on Broadway, she developed habits that helped her cope with her early trauma, but they were both expensive and often involved illegal substances. Simply put, they weren't good for her. In 1982, Nell would get married for the first time. Although there were highs and lows in that marriage, the couple would stay together for 10 years before divorcing. Nell would marry again later on, but that union would be relatively short-lived. There were times during this period where Nell really struggled, despite the fame that she was experiencing on television with Gimme a Break. She had incredibly debilitating headaches, and she wrestled from time to time with suicidal feelings. And yet, despite everything that she was going through, Nell soldiered on. And whenever I saw her on television, she was always a strong and sassy bright light. After Gimme a Break ended, Nell jumped networks to CBS with a new series called You Take the Kids. Sadly, despite a fun premise, and I thought a couple of really good episodes to kick things off, the show didn't get the ratings that the execs at CBS had hoped for, and it was canceled after just a handful of episodes. This 1992 TV movie was fun. And guess what? The entire thing is right here on YouTube for you to view. At least it is at the time of making this video. I'll post a link to it in the description section if you want to check it out. Nell's final recurring role on a television series was during seasons 2 and 3 of the ABC sitcom Hanging with Mr. Cooper, where she played Principal Moore, who Mark Cooper not only worked for, but he knew from way back because she had been his babysitter when he was growing up. 
like I said, this was Nell's last recurring television role of any substance. She did make a handful of guest appearances on Touched by an Angel, Reba, and Allie McBeal during the early 2000s. But it seemed, at least to me, like as Nell approached the half-century mark, she was more content to spend time with family, to work on her personal life. She had a new relationship with a woman named Anne, and was still raising her two boys from her first marriage. Sadly, on January 23, 2003, Nell collapsed and died at her home. One of her sons discovered her body that night. The coroner's office ruled that her death was likely the result of probable heart disease, with diabetes being a contributing condition. Here's the way that I always want to remember Nell. I want to remember those triumphs. I want to remember that great smile that she had. You know, she accomplished a ton during her 54 years on this earth, but it's still sad to think that she left us so early. All right, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's how I'll know if I should make more videos like this one. Also, I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.